We're asked which of the following expressions are equivalent to 2 minus 9.4 plus 0 plus 3.71. And we need to pick two answers. So pause this video and see if you can have a go at it before we do this together. All right, now let's look through the choices. So this first choice, we have 9.4. Here we subtracted 9.4. Now when you subtract a number, you can also view it as adding its opposite. So we could rewrite this top thing as 2 plus negative 9.4. Notice when we subtract 9.4, that's the same thing as adding negative 9.4. So we could write it this way. And when you are adding numbers, and that's actually this property or this principle that we just used is really useful because when you're adding numbers like this, it doesn't matter what order you add them in. When you when you have some subtraction involved, now all of a sudden the order does matter. But when you're adding like this, it doesn't matter the order that you're doing it with. So we can swap these numbers any way we want. We could write this, for example, as negative 9.4 plus 2 uh, plus 3.71. We could ignore the 0 or put that anywhere, obviously. Plus 0, something like that. Uh, but what we see over here, they don't have a negative 9.4. They have a positive 9.4. So I really don't know how I can reconcile this first thing and this right over here. So I'm going to rule that one out. Now this one over here, you have a 2. We have a 2 there. We have a 3.71. We have a 3.71 there. And both of those things are just being added. And now, we have a, and now from that, we are subtracting 9.4. And so here they're subtracting 9.4. And it is indeed the case here. You have to be very careful with subtraction if, if you know, we wouldn't want to make it 9.4 minus something else. But as long as we are only subtracting the 9.4, then the swapping of this order does work. And you can even verify that with the numbers over here. You could do 2 minus 9.4 plus 3.71, or you could do 2 plus 3.71 minus 9.4. So I like this choice. Now let's look at this one. This has 3.71, 3.71. It has the 2, it has the 2. And now it's adding 9.4. Now we already said we could rewrite subtracting 9.4 as adding negative 9.4. But we can't rewrite that as just adding 9.4. If this had a if this was like this, if it had a negative there, then this would work, but it's not that. And so I'm going to I'm going to rule that one out and I'm guessing this one's going to work, but let's see. So this one put parentheses around it. So it's really just telling us what we want to do first. So it says first do the 2 minus 9.4, which if you just went left to right, you would have done anyway. And then plus 0 plus 3.71. And 0 plus 3.71, obviously, that's just going to be 3.71. So of course, this does seem very reasonable to do, that you could go 2 minus 9.4 plus 3.71. 2 minus 9.4, the 0 doesn't matter here, and then plus 3.71. So I like that choice. Let's do another example. So once again, we want to come up with an equivalent with equivalent expressions. So let's look at this one. And actually, before I even look at the choices, let's just recognize that if you subtract a number, it's the same thing as adding its opposite. So for example, this could be rewritten as negative 6 fifths plus 1 half plus the opposite of negative 8 fifths, which is positive 8 fifths. That's another way we could rewrite it. That might be helpful. Let's see. Over here, we have 1 half, which we see right over there. We have plus 8 fifths. And interestingly, that looks like the one that we did in the second version right over here. And then we have minus 6 fifths. So is minus 6 fifths the same thing as this over here? Well, let's think about it. What we're really doing when we write this negative 6 fifths out front, that's the same thing as we could view that as plus negative 6 fifths. And that's going to be the same thing as subtracting the opposite of it. Or another way of thinking about it as subtracting, subtracting positive 6 fifths. Let me write it this way. Subtracting, subtracting positive 6 fifths. It's actually hard to tell because I put that I have actually let me write it this way. If we just took it if we just took this version and we were to if we were to use a commutative property to swap the orders, we could write this as one half plus eight fifths and then plus negative six fifths. All I did is swap the order. And now we know that this last part could be rewritten. So it's one half plus eight fifths 
Instead of plus negative 6 fifths, that can be rewritten as negative, or minus, I should say, minus positive 6 fifths. Why can I do that? Because subtracting a number is the same thing as adding its opposite. And so all of these are equivalent, and this is exactly what they have written here, this last scenario. So I like that one. Now let's see, this one has a negative 6 fifths, and it has a plus 8 fifths and a plus 1 half. So all they did is they took this version, which we knew is equivalent, and they swapped the order that we are doing. They actually swapped the order of the 1 half and the 8 fifths. And when you're dealing with addition like this, you can move things around, the commutative property. You can, you can do your addition in different orders, and that's all they're doing. Actually, this is not just commutative, this is also associative. They're literally putting that parentheses there and say, hey, let's just do, and let's just do the, those first two first. Let's swap these two, and then of course, even if you're going left to right, you would do these first two, even if the parentheses weren't there. So you can definitely, all of this is definitely equivalent to negative six fifths, swapping the one half and the eight fifths. So eight fifths plus one half. So I like that choice too. And so we had two choices, so these are probably not going to work, and let's see why they don't real fast. They both have the negative six fifths. This has the plus one half, but it has minus eight fifths instead of minus negative eight fifths. It, it, it could have plus eight fifths here, but not minus eight fifths, so we rule that one out. Negative six, six fifths, and let's see, then it has, it's adding negative eight fifths instead of subtracting negative eight fifths. So I don't like that. And then it subtracts one half instead of adding one half. So it's no good on, on multiple dimensions. Let's do one last example. Which of the expressions are equivalent? As always, pause and see if you can figure that out. So let's see. So actually, before I look at the choices, I'm, gonna, I'm going to see if there's different ways to rewrite this. We could rewrite this as 1.7 minus 8.33. Why can I do that again? Because subtracting a number is the same thing as adding its opposite. And then I could say plus, I could write this as 8.33. And if I wanted to, I could even write this, instead of minus 1.95, I could even write that as plus negative 1.95 if I choose. Because once again, subtracting a number is the same thing as adding its opposite. Now, I'm tempted to try to compute this because we could just, we could just, when we're doing addition like this, and I could write it like this if I want everything to be addition, 1.7 plus negative 8.33 plus 8.33 plus negative 1.95. When everything is expressed in addition, we know that the order doesn't matter. The commutative property tells us that. And even the associate the associative property tells us the, the the how we put the parentheses doesn't matter. And so we could actually do that first, and then these two would cancel out. Actually, maybe we will have to do that. That choice looks like that. But let's just go step by step. So this has 1.7, 1.7. Let me do this in a different color. One point that's not a different color. 1.7, 1.7. They're subtracting 8.33. That's subtracting 8.33 here, so that's equivalent to this version right here. Then they're subtracting it again. No, this does not look good. Because even when we try to compute it, we know that this and these two terms will cancel out each other, so I am i don't like that one. Let's see, this one, if we, take, if we take this one here and we were to reorder it, because this is all addition of different integers here, but if we were to reorder it, we could reorder it as negative 8.33, negative 8.33, plus 8.33, plus 8.33, plus 1.7, plus 1.7, and then we have plus negative 1.95, which we know we can write as minus 1.95, minus 1.95, because subtracting a number is the same thing as adding its opposite, and that's what they have here. They put these parentheses, but if you, if you just went right, if you just went left to right, I should say, with this one, you're going to get the same thing. So I like that choice there. Now this choice, if you just canceled these two terms out, you're left with a 1.7 plus negative 1.95, which we already know is the same thing as minus 1.95. So I like this choice as well. Now why won't this one work? Let's see. 
they're trying to change the order, but you can add a negative 1.95 and then put it out front. But this is a positive 1.95, so I'm, I'm already not liking this. And then they're subtracting 1.7. There's no reason why you should subtract 1.7, so this is definitely not looking good.